Hello everyone, welcome to Southern Reads. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and share my video. Today I'm going to show you how I make this really cute bee wreath. These are the supplies I'm going to use to make this wreath. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to use the sign yet, but I've already glued this and E6000 pipe cleaners to this because I had used it on another wreath and didn't like it. I got all this ribbon from Craft Outlet. I believe I got all the mesh from Craft Outlet as well. I have my pipe cleaners, my wire frame, my rotary cutter, some scissors. I am going to do a double cruffle method. So when I did my wreath the other day with the cruffles, that gave me an idea to do like opposite cruffles. And I'll show you what I mean as I go. Ideally, I would do a whole roll of this and a whole roll of this. I only have half a roll. So I am going to fill in with this yellow. So what I'll do is put the yellow underneath when this is on top. And then this will be under when this is on top. So you'll see what I'm talking about as I go. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my pipe cleaners on my frame. I'm going to add a pipe cleaner to each crossbar in the center and that gives me six ties in the middle. When I add it to the crossbar, I go over the two center rings and I wrap it one side of the pipe cleaners on this side, one's on this side. I try to get them even and then I twist them tightly three times. And I'll do this going all the way around the inside the outside ties I just pick a random crossbar to start and I add the pipe cleaner around the two outside rings I pull them up evenly and I'm twisting three times again and I put them on this top ring like that's where I'm twisting it so the difference in the outside and the inside is now I'm just going to lay these pipe cleaners along the the ring and where it ends is where my next one's going to begin Again, twisting three times. You want to twist tightly, but not so tight that it squeezes the entire frame together. If you have a more sturdy frame, it probably won't do that to you. This is a Dollar Tree frame, and they tend to buckle. So I'm going to go around and finish doing this for the outside. When you put your last pipe cleaner on, it should line up with this one where it does that. If it doesn't, if it's a little bit off, that's not a huge deal. So you can see here the last one, it lines up with that one. Again, if it's a little bit off, no one's going to be able to tell. I'm going to start cutting my mesh. I'm cutting them at 24 inches. So I just use my mat to measure. I pull it out to the 24 mark. I put my finger on the zero, pull it to the center where I don't have a ton of grooves. And I cut it. And I do that because it's easier to cut in the center than it is on the side. And here I'll show you again. Pull it to the 24, grab it at zero, pull it to the middle. You can kind of feel where there's divots and cut. So I'm going to cut 14 of these, seven yellow and seven black and white. If you were just doing the black and white in this mesh, you would just need 14 of each. I finished cutting my mesh. I just got it off screen because I've got it laying flat. And I'm going to show you my idea. Now, I don't know how this is going to look because I've never done this and I don't know that I've ever seen anybody do this, which I'm sure somebody has, but I have never seen it personally. So you're gonna start by putting something heavy at the end and creating three curls and then taking something and clipping it. You can use a clothespin, uh, you can put something heavy there. I just use a chip clip. Then you're gonna turn it around, place the something heavy down there do three more curls on this side, and then you're gonna ruffle. So you just pinch and gather. And you get your cruffle. You can put your cruffle down or up. So my first cruffle, I think I'm gonna put down, and then my second one I'm gonna put up. So we'll see if I change my mind. So I'm gonna place it into the pipe cleaner as evenly as I possibly can and just give one good twist. I'm gonna grab my two-tone yellow. It's got like a, a creamy white. And again, curl three times. Pinch it with a chip clip. Do 
the other side. And then I'm just going to gather, make my ripple. So this ruffle is going to go this way. So I have my cruffle underneath and my cruffle on top. I think that's kind of cute. I'm going to do my next one. So the bottom of my next one will be the two-toned because I have 14 of these. And again, if you were using the whole roll of the black and white, this would be black and white instead of yellow. Or you can also use solid black if you want. I don't have any 10 inch solid black. pipe cleaner so I can get it in there right. Give it one twist. Oh, this thinner mesh is so sticky. It wants to stick to everything. All right now my black and white. This is kind of like an eyelash mesh. It has metallic streaks in it. I got a few strays. You can also use a heat tool to cut instead of the rotary cutter if you want. Alright, do my three curls. And this mesh is really easy to curl because you just line up the lines. One of the reasons I like this method is because it doesn't show any fraying because you curl it all up. Alright, now put that on there. Twist it and be sure those are in between. And then I'll fluff it up against the one next to it so it stays up. Yeah, that's cute. I think my biggest problem is going to be keeping them from turning. But I'm going to go through and finish adding to the outside. I didn't like the way you could see through the cruffles in between them, so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly add poofs to the bottom just to keep it um, from being able to see the frame. You don't really want to see the frame. Now I know the ribbon would cover it up, but there was like some pretty significant gaps there. So I'm just gathering my 21 inch yellow mesh and I'm going to lay it over the pipe cleaner that's at the crossbar and then attach it with a zip tie. Pull it tight, trim it away. I'm only going to do 10 inch poofs of this, and I'm just going to measure from the 14th to the 4th. I just need something on the bottom to help cover everything. Something that will be in between the ruffles. adding to the outside. When I get to my last poof on the outside, I'm going to open, well not open, but I'm going to pull the pipe cleaners around the zip tie and then just wrap them around the, the mesh. That one looks bigger. Open the ties on the center. Pull the mesh into the closest pipe cleaner. Twist it just to pull it in and continue doing my poops. When I get to my last poop on the inside, I'm going to open the tie that I use to pull the mesh in to the center. Lay this in there and twist. Now you can see this is messy. I did not try to make this look good. I just needed something to cover. 
the bottom so you couldn't see the frame. Now granted this mesh is see-through, but anything, the more layers you put, the harder it's gonna be to see the frame. And that's just pretty much the goal with wreaths is you just don't wanna see the frame. So I'm gonna push that through to the back and attach it with my zip tie. And I'll trim this away. And we'll push my zip tie the leftover piece to the front so there's nothing sticking out. All right, now I'm gonna add my crumples back in. I saved them. So I've got this one, I wanted to go this way. And this one goes this way. See, that's a lot better. You can't see the frame because before you all you could see was the frame. So if you're gonna do this method, I would definitely do a poof base. So now I'm gonna continue making my cruffles. This is what it looks like when I finish the outside. Now I'm gonna go through and add the mesh to the center. And I'm just gonna do my cruffles the same. This will be a tiny bit different only because you have to kind of move stuff out of the way. So that curl just completely uncurled. So you just have to pull this out of the way when you're adding this in. So you just push it. Do your little half twist. Then make your next ruffle. You will notice that you don't have a ton of pipe cleaner left. So just keep that in mind if your hands hurt from doing things. This is going to be kind of tight when you're twisting. All right, I'm going to continue alternating the colors in the center. I finished adding all my mesh and I know it looks kind of funny with so much yellow. But I'm going to add this ribbon into this section so that'll pull the black and white into those sections. It looks really cool and it's really full. I really like the curl ruffle method where it has the curls and the ruffles. All right, I'm going to use my piece of cardboard to cut my mesh. I mean, I'm sorry, my ribbon. I need seven of each one. And I'm cutting them at 12 inches. feed my scissors through to the cardboard, cut it across, do the same thing on the other side holding tightly so that the ribbon doesn't move and the cardboard doesn't slide out. And there you go. I have seven pieces. I'm going to do that with all the ribbon and then once I'm done with that I'm going to grab two or three pieces of ribbon, fold it long ways and cut from the 
wire to the crease at an angle. All right, I'm gonna finish cutting everything. I finished cutting my ribbons and I stacked them the way I wanna add them into the wreath. I decided to put these two together and these two together. So these I'm gonna make sure I put on the yellow because that way it brings the dark into that yellow spot. So I'm just gonna try to get them even, fold it in half, and then crease and pinch at the crease. Add it on top of my pipe cleaner. I'm adding the ribbon in as centered as I can get it, twisting three times with my pipe cleaner. Since the pipe cleaner is so short, you could just tuck it backwards, but I'm still gonna roll it. And then I'm gonna fluff my ribbon. I like to do an X. I think that helps a little bit with the yellow. I'm wondering if I should put the darker ribbon there too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Let's see what that looks like. Cause I feel like that yellow is getting lost. Let's try this again. That's what's great about just rolling your pipe cleaners down instead of cutting them off. You can still change things if you want to. Yeah, I think that's better. It pops off of the yellow instead of blending into the yellow. So I'm gonna have to go through and re-stack my ribbons. All right, I went through and quickly fixed my ribbon. Now I'm gonna show you again. Take it and make it even, fold it in half, crease. Then at the crease, I'm gonna pinch. One, two, three. Add that on my pipe cleaner. Twist it three times to secure it. Then I'm gonna fluff them in an X. I wanted to be sure that black showed through. I'm gonna continue adding the ribbon to the center. I finished going around the Inside, so now I'm gonna do the outside, and I'm still gonna keep with the theme where I put the darks in the yellow spot. And that way, it really pops off the wreath and it helps balance out the so much yellow, which I do want a lot of yellow because it's a bee wreath, but maybe not as much as what's coming through. So I'm gonna add this the same way I've been adding the ribbons. Just when I fluff it, it just looks a little bit different. So you can see here, when I fluff it, it's an X. See, on the outside when you fluff it, it's more straight across at the top. It's not perfectly straight across. It reminds me of a butterfly. All right, I'm gonna go around and finish adding on the outside. I finished adding on my ribbons. You see this is a really full wreath. It looks so pretty. I'm really, really, really in love with this. I think I'll add it and see if I like it. I'm just gonna move the ribbons out of the way a little bit so I don't lose them all. Yeah, I definitely want it right here. All right, I'm gonna feed it through to the back. I guess that's not too bad. Cute as a bee. Well, that's it. That's how I made my double cruffle wreath. 
If y'all have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or you can email me at craftingwithlee at yahoo.com. Thank you so much for watching. If y'all learned anything today or like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.